Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. We are going to do uh, a bracket today. It's called. It's going to be my dream bracket. Uh, if the bracket ended up like this, I would be extremely happy. This is not my final prediction. There will also be another bracket today coming, and it will be after the uh, post the first two, four, first four games um, with Wichita State and uh, Florida Gulf Coast advancing. Uh, so we'll start it out with Kansas and UConn. Go ahead and have Maryland play in Hawaii. This will look a little bit similar to my regular bracket, but it'll have a little bit different of stuff going on here. So we'll go ahead and take Arizona over Wichita State, Miami over Buffalo, Dick Temple, and Villanova. Setting up matchups between Kansas, UConn, Maryland, Hawaii, Arizona, Miami, and Temple, Villanova. Uh, once again, let me just say this is just a... Uh, dream bracket. If the bracket ended up like this, I would uh, I'd be overjoyed. Um, and then we're gonna have UConn playing Maryland. Uh, this isn't gonna be comparable to my favorite team one because that one's so unrealistic. It's stupid. Um, got Miami and Villanova matching up, so it's UConn Maryland, Miami Villanova in the Sweet 16, and we've got Villanova playing Maryland in the Elite Eight. Uh, Interesting little bracket there. Um, I didn't like Wichita State last night as much as I thought I would, but I'll get more into detail about that um, uh, in, in, the, in the video where I go over my updated bracket. So we've got North Carolina and Providence. We've got Indiana and Kentucky. We've got uh, Michigan and West Virginia. Uh, we've got Pittsburgh over Wisconsin and Xavier over Weber State. So that matches up North Carolina, Providence, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, West Virginia, and Pitt, Xavier. So we're going to have Providence advancing on to play against Indiana. Uh, we'll have uh, West Virginia playing Xavier. And we'll have uh, we'll have a matchup of Providence, Indiana, if it would select Xavier. Providence, Indiana, West Virginia, and Xavier. So then moving on, we've got Providence versus Xavier, or no, Providence versus West Virginia in the Elite ma elite uh, 8 to match up in the East Bracket. Uh, moving on down to the Midwest Bracket, we'll start off with uh, with Virginia. Um, thought about picking a number 16 seed in this, but nah, nah. World Texas Tech up to and Iowa State. Then we've got uh, Seton Hall facing off against Utah, Syracuse, and Michigan State. So we've got Virginia, Texas Tech, Purdue, Iowa State, Seton Hall, Utah, and Syracuse, Michigan State. Be taking Michigan State and Seton Hall to face off in the Sweet 16, as well as Iowa State versus Virginia in the Sweet 16. Uh, from here, we will have Iowa State going up against Seton Hall in the Elite Eight, upsetting Michigan State. Seton Hall could easily lose to Gonzaga round one. Uh, would not be surprised at all if that happened. Uh, but moving on to the final, the West Bracket. Um, I told you these videos would get a little bit faster, especially when I'm just doing fun brackets because then I don't have to explain stuff as much. We have Oregon facing off against St. Joe's. We've got the we got the Yale, we got Yale facing off against Duke. Uh, then we have Northern Iowa facing off against Green Bay, Oregon State, and Oklahoma. Um, I've moved from Green Bay. We're on to Northern Iowa. I still like Green Bay in that matchup against Texas A&M, but I've moved on from that to Northern Iowa. Uh, but I guess this is the dream bracket. I would love to see Green Bay make it. So we'll go dream bracket. We'll move Green Bay. Uh, we have Yale moving on to play Oregon, so we've got a 12 and a 14 seed advancing to the Sweet 16, and neither of them win. Oregon beats Yale, Oklahoma beats Green Bay to set up the final Elite Eight matchup. So we got Oregon, Oklahoma, Iowa State, Seton Hall, uh, Providence, West Virginia, and Villanova, Maryland. So we'll go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and take Maryland in this bracket. I've been taking Villanova in all of them pretty much. We'll have a matchup of Maryland, Oregon, and Seton Hall, West West Virginia. No, we're going to go with Providence and Chris Dunn. I'm going to take Chris Dunn and Providence to face off against Providence and Maryland in the final. No, this is stupid. This is not how I'd want it. Okay, you know what? We were doing dream break. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me be a little bit smarter about this. Go Villanova. And Oklahoma. 
And I guess this will be the first break. I was going for that let's not repeat brackets, but we're doing it this time. Uh, we're going to have Oklahoma Providence and Oklahoma beaten Providence in the national championship. This is kind of the dream. This is a dream bracket that is semi-realistic. Like, it, it has some realistic properties to it, but it is a dream bracket, and it uh, doesn't involve actually all my favorite teams. I'm going to have Oklahoma win in a blowout, like 77-56 to 56 in the national championship over Providence. So that is going to do it for the fun dream bracket. Um, it's a little bit of fun combined with a real little realism, realism and a little bit of not being too not having a bracket that looks like identical to my favorite team bracket. Uh, so that is going to do it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we'll be creating a new bracket, and it will be my uh, my post uh, first four in, I guess, first four game. The two first four, I don't know what I'm going to name it. You guys know what I mean. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. A quick little six-minute bracket for fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.